So how you guys doing? So this is my Deadpool review. So welcome to the movie review at Uncle Ren's Popcorn with your host, Uncle Ren's. Now first I'm gonna give you the basic Deadpool review. First, nine kernels to the movie. The movie was hilarious the entire way through. It even started with the credits. So you gotta watch the, the beginning credits of the movie as to who did what. And even that in itself was funny. I mean, they picked on themselves. I mean, they picked on the, the Fox Theater. The, and, and don't forget to stay for the end credits. That's funny too. But I'm, t I'm telling you guys, it's a great movie. You'll laugh the whole way through. It's good action the whole way through. The way the story flows, it's a great, great movie. It's probably, to me, it's one of the best movies that Marvel has put out. Uh, I mean, Ant-Man was a huge movie that was great. Winter Soldier, great. But this movie right here, Fox is going to be, it's going to be tough for Marvel and Fox to beat this movie because it stays so true to the comic and the nature and the character and the energy of the comic. But also, it was just a great movie, great writing, great humor. The humor was well-placed and well-thought of. And the storyline was very captivating as well. And it kept you involved and kept you interested through the whole movie. So I'm going to tell you this is a movie that you definitely should go see. You might want to see it a couple times, but it is a great movie. It will be a great part of a, of a, CD, a video box that you, that you one day own. So that is like a basic review. I don't, wanna, I don't do spoilers if I can help it. So I'm not going to give you too much of the plot lines and things like that. But it's definitely worth going out to see it. It's definitely um, there. There is a lot of um, there's some uh, some decent amount of nudity. There's also a decent. There's a lot of cursing, a lot of profanity. Uh, so you got to be able to deal with that. It's radar and and the violence is very is is good, but it's not um, Tarantino level violence and gore. But it's also not the oh some guy got shot and there's no blood kind of violence either. So it's 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 a it's a great more realistic level of 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 blood and violence so it was a good movie so it's would i recommend that you take smaller children no of course not no 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 but for the older children it will be it'll be okay if they're well adjusted that sort of thing so but it's really it is still an adult movie and it's an awesome movie and, and i mean it's one of the few movies that i clapped at the end all right so go out go see deadpool so now let's dive deep of course, there's always a deeper message, something that we can learn and take away from the movie that we can apply for our own lives. So what am I talking about? And you know, in this movie, there was a, very, a, a couple of smaller issues, like um, there, there is greater power and nobili nobility, regardless of your level of strength, and you'll find this message being taught by Colossus throughout the movie. And oh, by the way, this is the best X-Men movie that did Colossus right, did him justice. Colossus being one of my favorite characters, they did him justice in this one. You know, and Nega Supersonic Warhead, oh my gosh, she is like the perfect little teenager in the movie. So, um, you know, just th th they did very well with that. But nobility and honor, even though you have great power, it is a message that uh, Colossus is going to continue to preach about and teach you throughout the movie. And, and uh, so that, that, we could talk about that. We could talk about the slave trade because the movie does um, involve how slave trading going and we know that this is a real thing that's going on in life today that there are still people in america and in other countries south america and europe no matter what country there's some level of a human of human trafficking and so the movie does touch on that and, and that is a core ingredient of the movie so uh that's that's a lesson that we we need to be conscious of those types of things that are going on in our world so that if we, we have the opportunity to prevent them we have the opportunity to save someone we have the opportunity to you know, do something about it that we have to have that, again, that nobility and strength to be able to go and do it. But here's the deeper message. This is the one that goes through the whole movie. The fact that love, love is a wonderful thing. Love is beautiful, although there's a lot of violence and there is, there is, there is um, profanity with, throughout the movie and tons of comedy. The movie really is truly a love story. It's a love story of what a man and a woman who fit together. See, most people, they get together with each other because they see superficial things. They're not looking at the deeper level of the puzzle. See, um, the, the, the Deadpool character and his love interest, they never, they were never fake. They were themselves from day one, from the very beginning. From the, they, they never tried to be anything that they're not. They never tried to, let me show you my representative. From day one, they were completely 
open and honest as to who they were and what they were about and the type of person that they're going to be and that and there was no expectation of change see too many times we get into relationships and we feel like okay let me show you my best but then the real me because this best that i'm showing you is not the part that i can maintain but let me show you my best that comes out every now and then the thing that'll make you fall in love with me but I'm not going to be able to maintain that my entire life, but the movie shows that when you are doing you and being you, the thing that you want to find is that perfect piece of the puzzle that fits you. Different curves, different shapes, the whole deal, but they fit you perfectly so that you can see the big picture of what's going on. That is how you create a true love affair that lasts over time, and the movie shows you that. Now, in that willingness to, and, and in that creation, there is a willingness to make it, to maintain. And most of you know from the credits that he has some sort of, he has a cancer, is eating up his body, and so he goes through this process. He goes through this process because he wants to be with the woman that he loves, that being with her, that going through, that he's willing to do anything so that she doesn't have to suffer. And throughout the movie, you see that's why he gets into the situation, and, but, but then he, he loses himself. And thinks that she could only love him if he goes back to looking like his normal self. He gets superficial. But then at the end of the movie, you realize that love trumps over those things. That, yeah, a person you're with may get, become disabled. They may have an issue. They may, they, something may happen to them. But it doesn't mean you should run away from each other. Because you, if you have a true love, a definite love, that if something out of their control happens to them, now, I'm not talking about things that people can't control because if somebody can control something, but they just choose to do something else or choose not to do something, that's different. But when something happens that's beyond a person's control, that if a person truly loves you, then they will still stick by you. And that's the message that he has to learn throughout the movie is that a person who truly loves you will stick by you, especially when things happen that are beyond your control. So look, I'm going to keep this short. Don't want to go too long. Go watch the movie. It's a great movie. Recognize the love story. Apply that to your life. You know, if you're not with somebody that you fit like a puzzle pieces together, then maybe you need to be with somebody else. And I'm, I'm going to shoot another video in a few minutes that's dealing with a similar situation like that that happened in my store. Because if you haven't been here before, I put plenty of people on the couch and I had to put a couple on the couch uh, uh, yesterday and, and help them sort out their relationship. So y'all have a great day. Again, this is um, the movie review with Uncle Rins and Uncle Rins Popcorn. And the popcorn for this movie is strawberry cheesecake. Why? Not because it's Valentine's Day, because we got Deadpool, strawberry, blood red. And we got the cheesecake, the sweet life of the sweet innocence of love and life. So strawberry cheesecake is the movie. You can order it at UncleRensPopcorn.com, um, and we can get it shipped out to you. But it's a delightful treat. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy yourself. My greatness is non-negotiable, and so is yours.